Mm -hmm. Today I'm playing Neon Flytron, a game that came out. It is the first game for Moby Zay uh, to come out and create it with Unity. I uh, played it a bit, looks really good, I really enjoy it. Uh, so most part all it is is that it's one of those constant running games uh, and you collect stuff and different things. And you try to get, rid, get around the obstacles that come your way. Yep. Yeah. And you click these. Ah, shoot. I didn't see the retry there. Let's see if I can get a bit further this time. So I say different. Levels and different goals you have to complete for each level. It's hard to try to concentrate and talk at the same time, but well, so far I'm doing well. Here we go, now I'm moving along. But it's good because the map auto-generates itself, or regenerates every time. So... It's always different every time you go through. Uh, so you see there, I just got a shield. So if by any chance I run into something like that, I have time to pretty much have an extra life and prepare myself for going through that obstacle again. And that is a magnet. So now I don't have to be in line with those coins, I can just fly by them and I'll still grab them. Which helps when you have to... Oh, I missed that. Watch the obstacles that you're coming to. <laughs> I saw this guy come across my Twitter and I saw that this was the first game you ever made, so I thought I should showcase it and show them what I think of the game, which I really, really enjoy. It's really fun. It's fast-paced. Uh, for its first game, you did really well uh, using the Unity engine. So, And with each level, there's different goals you do. Last level I had... Uh, had to go certain, well, it says speed, but it's really distance. It should be just kilometers, not kilometers per hour. Woo! Oh, shoot! <laughs> yeah, so you can resurrect yourself by watching an ad. I wanted to move on and show some of the other parts of the game. Uh, it's only one more minute, so I want to go back. Uh, so I'm not sure what the coming soon is. Maybe it's a different world or whatever. Um, but you can go through and change out your cars. So you have, as you can see there, the Batmobile, different other cars. Move over, over here, there's the, the, the DeLorean, which I'd be really interested in playing as, and a bunch of other cars. And you can go in further and change out the colors and change out how the tires are, if they're on the side or regular flat tires like a DeLorean. Or you can even change out the color. I chose to go with a complete black. And change the, the neon and the background. So let's keep going. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also buy more stuff. So yeah, so right now I one more goal to re go past level two. Let's see if we can find another magnet. Come on. 
Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Retry. Oh, so I use, interesting, so I use the gems to do that. Good to know. Just need a magnet. Just one. Go under. There we go. Go left of that. Whew. That was a close one. Okay, where? But like it's very... He classified as uh, cyberpunk, which it is. Uh, it makes me think of Blade Runner or even Tron. It was more city-wide. There is a magnet. Ten seconds for the magnet. And now we got a shield. Hey, another magnet. Okay. That's, it sucks because that wastes the time that I have with the magnet, but... Okay. Whoa! Not paying attention to what I'm doing. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yay, get reward. Ah, new goals. Collect hundred and hundred sixty four coins, travel distance, and two magnets. Okay. Well, I was hoping to see if I could get enough coins to do the DeLorean, because that's at Oh, no mind, that's at 300,000. Way far away. Wait, I thought that was lower. Or am I looking at something else? No. I'm looking at the, the time power. Yeah, so you get those at different levels. That's at level 50. Okay, well, if you want to play this for yourself, I'll leave a link for it in the description below. Uh, very well done. Uh, and certainly give the developer a like. I'll put his Twitter handle in the description. It's Android Gamer, Later Days, and happy gaming!